hard to narrow it down to one problem. People are picking and choosing who is human and who is not. More women die from childbirth than men die of war, and that is true throughout the whole world. We are doing things for today only, but we are not thinking for future generation, future people. Access to standardized care. Government corruption. The empowerment of women. And kindness. Because of the internet, we see it so quickly. Environmental pollution. It is climate change. It is the usage of plastics. The lack of uh, conscience. The digital divide. Hunger, starvation. Or moms who are staying at home with their kids don't have opportunities. Large corporations who or take responsibility for their impact on the environment. I see children that come out as LGBTQ um, not feeling accepted as who they are. Our lack of recycling infrastructure. And the unequal distribution of wealth and resources. A significant amount of domestic violence. Not inclusion for the disabled community. We see a lot of suicide with LGBTQ children. The loss of like natural habitat. Well, it's the end of the world, pretty much. There are a lot of people talking about the problems, but not actions. We prejudice and uh, we don't like other people, and that's why uh, violence is increasing day by day. Everyone is different, so we need to accept other people the way they are. To listen and to communicate with each other. To kind of express what what we share as humans and how our hearts beat to the same drum. All people should make every day some uh, real actions to change the world. You plant a tree, we plant a tree. I make uh, sustainable calendars that are perpetual so you can use them year after year after year. So we need to vote and take political action. By increasing belonging to help LGBTQ people know that they belong. Coming together and having that mindset would make a big difference of we could do it together. Educating people so they understand that they are people, families, kids, mothers, fathers, just like us with goals and dreams and, and hopes. Businesses to realize that if they could help the victims of domestic violence in their workforce, we'd end up with more engaged workforce because they feel safer. Eliminating as much as you can the use of single-use plastic. And if those with resources, whether it's extra rice or well, could set aside 20% of that to give to those who are in need in the home. So if you learn to listen, you're going to learn how to help people and you will make a difference. Changing the culture of business and of our society and also passing legislation that um, encourages businesses to be more sustainable. If more companies would actually see the big picture of letting people work from home. Uh, clean energy, sustainable energy systems. Self-awareness. Paper plates, paper bags. We can skip using plastic bottles, spoons, forks. I think we need to recognize that none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. I think when you empower women within every community, each community, those empowered women will then turn around and take care of the very things that we're worried about in the community. We have to plan together and future sustainability. I really believe that we are going to come together and solve this. Uh, and it, it requires that everyone take responsibility. Every person, every government, every corporation, all of us have to take responsibility for doing something, in fact, everything we can and should.